a fancy taco made of artificial fragrances wrapped in the United States flag. In the blink of an eye, Jesus gets off his cross and fucks Pat Robertson in the ass and tells him what a lousy cosplayer he is, which leaves a coating of Santorum all over the continuation of the Bush dynasty. There is something very wrong with the seasonings used to towel dry the emancipation of faux truths and misinformed ventriloquists parroting the sounds of that white house filled with aging old white farts. There is nothing left to chew on. The echoes of a fake past resound loudly in the future of our manufactured ignorance. So crush my heart and crush my bones and deliver them to Mother Jones, for there's nothing like a bleeding heart with a side order of fries to entertain the ones with wool pulled over their eyes. But I digress. There is nothing to see here. Pay no attention to the man behind that iron curtain plagued with police brutality and fabricated intelligence. There is no Jersey Shore or Kardashian attack on the Romulans that were ever good enough to be a good day to kill silent but deadly impoverished minds that feed on the entrails of the entertainment industry. Gone are the mistakes we learn from. Gone is the internalized, simulated jingoism that made us feel like a natural woman. You think we're strong? Wait until we walk on the carpet tacks of the beautiful lawns of corporate culture. Wait until we can't even assemble cotton swabs to clean out the ears of our outsourced national debt. We won't be feeling like chicken tonight. We won't be applying anything directly to the forehead. We won't be saving 15% or more on our trade deficit by switching to trickle-down Dianetics. The benefit is the cost, the debt is the value, and the teetering seesaw we sternly press our daily bread into will become the white paste that sticks to the roof of our mouths when hydrated with carelessness. And that is all. <laughs>